Okay, this is a little screen recording to remind you of a couple of the things that we did um, in class today. So, um, in relation to um, the phases of the moon and kind of understanding the phases of the moon, because one of the questions asks you to think about that, um, one way you can do that is you can go to um, a position hovering over Earth, and I like to go to the North Pole. Makes sense. Let's do that. And then I'm going to find the moon. Remember, you can hit the space bar to kind of zoom in there. And I'm going to tur turn on the moon's orbit, too, so we can kind of see it. And I'm going to zoom in so we can kind of see it carefully. And then I'm going to run time a little quickly. We're going to make that maybe three hours. You can see that the phase of the moon is changing as it goes through its orbit. Just had that little solar eclipse that's happening next week um, that flashed by, but let's talk about it. So we're moving towards full moon. So it's full moon right now. It's a waning gibbous. Third quarter waning crescent and new moon waxing crescent first quarter waxing gibbous full moon waning gibbous third quarter waning crescent and new moon and we're back to waxing crescent first quarter. And you can see that would just go on and on and on. So one of the questions asks you to think about what phase is the moon in during eclipses. So let's um, do the other part of this activity, which is actually to position ourselves in a place hovering over the sun. Again, the north pole of the sun. And then we're going to find the earth. We'll turn on the earth's orbit too. And we're going to zoom in. And we're going to go a little bit faster. Let's see if I make this six hours, what happens. So we're looking at the shape of the moon's orbit over time. I can speed up time if I feel like it's going to help me. Notice what's happening to the way that the moon's orbit appears from the sun. And when do you think we can have an eclipse? And when can we not have an eclipse? And so we kind of talked about that. When is the moon going kind of below or above the Earth from the sun's perspective? And when does it appear to go directly in front of or behind it? And what's that frequency? You know, how frequent are these eclipse seasons? So look at the questions, play around with changing the time, um, play around with kind of like stopping, like stopping right here, you know, and you can kind of go back a little bit. And then you can zoom, right? Zooming is powerful. Look at the moon. What phase does it look like it's in now? And it went behind there. And we can change this. Say I move this down to just a much smaller number and I reverse it. Or I go forward. And I can chunk it forward very slowly. It looks to be in full moon, but then look at that, it goes behind the Earth. So what's going on there? And you could do a similar thing for when it's going in front and try and think about what's going on. So, good luck.